thermodynamics, physical and chemical properties of fuels and lubricants and technology of material. Lubrication. Lube oil is a one of the essential elements for operating any kind of machinery on board ship. Lube oil is responsible for lubrication and cooling of the parts which are operating relative to each other, giving rise to frictional and other types of stresses on the machinery. Without the use of lube oil, we cannot imagine any machinery operation on ship. Important lube oil properties to be considered. Viscosity. Viscosity, or the thickness of the oil, is important because it determines the lubricant's film strength and efficiency in preventing friction between moving parts. Thick oil has a high viscosity and thin oil has a low viscosity. If oil is too thick for the operating conditions, the machine must work harder, thus generating heat and using more energy. Over time, this will create unnecessary wear and tear on the machine. Conversely, if a lubricant is too thin, the film may not be thick enough to prevent friction. This too will create unnecessary wear and tear on the machine. Alkalinity. The lube oil alkalinity plays an important part in marine engines. When fuel burns, the fumes carry sulfuric acid which can cause acidic corrosion. For a trunk piston engine of four-stroke engines, the main lube oil is responsible for piston and liner lubrication. Hence it comes directly in contact with the combustible fuel. Therefore alkalinity of lube oil is important for controlling acidic corrosion. Oxidation resistant. Lube oil is always in contact with air and thus oxygen presence in oil is inevitable. Moreover, at high temperature of the oil, the oxidation rate increases. After 85 degrees Celsius temperature, the increase in every 10 degrees Celsius of oil oxidation rates doubles itself leading to sludge formation, acid production and bearing corrosion. Hence additives are added to maintain keep these things in check. Lube oil temperature is controlled by passing it through lube oil cooler. Load carrying capacity. It is also one of the important characteristics of lube oil, which mainly depends upon the viscosity of the oil. The load subjected to different internal parts of the marine engine is very high. Hence the load carrying capacity must be enough to withstand the pressure inside the engine. If this is not achieved then oil will be forced out and metal to metal contact will result in wiping out and wear down of the machine. Thermal conductivity. The internal parts of marine engine are always in movement producing heat energy. This heat energy has to be carried away, or else it might lead to wear down due to thermal stresses. The lube oil must cool down the internal parts to avoid such a situation and must have a good thermal conductivity. Detergency. Detergency of the oil is obtained by adding some metallic-based additives, which will prevent the buildup of small deposits in the metal surface. In two-stroke engine, the cylinder oil detergency is very important as it removes the deposits from the ring pack area and keeps the combustion space as clean as possible. Discrepancy it is the property of the lube oil which prevents impurities to mix up with itself and keeps them suspended on the surface. This makes it easy for the separator or clarifier to remove it from the oil. High flash point. The flash point is the minimum temperature at which the oil vaporizes to give an ignitable mixture of air. The flash point should always be on the higher side so that in case of increase in temperature of the oil, fire hazard can be avoided. Normally for marine engine lube oils, the flash point is always higher than 220 degrees Celsius. Load demulsification number. It is not practically impossible to completely avoid contamination of oil with water. The low demulsification number of the oil helps in easy separation of water from the oil in the separator or when stored in the settling tank. 